Welcome to my unboxing and first look, perhaps a little belated, but better late than never, as I like to say all the time, because that's something that I always say. The Samsung 840 SSD. So this is different from the 840 Pro, and we actually have a slightly unique sort of mix of 840 and 840 Pro. So if you've already seen our 840 Pro unboxing, you'll know that that's the one that has beast performance, basically as good as it gets in the market. It also is in a slightly larger capacity, so it's 128, 256, and 512 versus 120, 250, and 500 gigs for the 840. It also comes in a slightly different package, although both versions are available for both different drives. So this one right here, our 840 Pro, is the bare drive version that just comes with the data migration software and the drive itself. Our 840 is the version that comes with the desktop and laptop installation kit included. So in this case, you have to slice all the way through the sticker in order for the box to come apart. And there we go, good work, Linus. And the drives look pretty darn near identical on the top. The only way to tell the difference between an 840 and an 840 Pro is the fact that there's no Pro here. Also, the fact that it comes in a different capacity. It's a SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drive. It uses Samsung's latest controller designed by Samsung. And it has, oh, cool. Oh, okay, so they've got a two millimeter uh, clip here that allows you to go from a seven millimeter drive to a nine millimeter drive, depending on what the requirements are for your particular notebook. That's really handy. In a desktop, it makes no difference whatsoever, but it's, uh, it's really good to have for, for a notebook. Because, yeah, if you have the slightly the wrong drive, it just won't fit, and that'll be a bit of a problem. All right, so software-wise, uh, I was talking about their controller. Right, you know what? We never did go through this. So it's using their three-core MDX controller, designed by Samsung for Samsung, just like everything else in this drive. So the main advantage for Samsung is the fact that the controller, the firmware, the flash, the RAM, Every single thing in here is designed and manufactured by Samsung. No one else does this, not Intel, not Crucial, nobody else does this. For example, Crucial is using a third-party controller chipset, so they're writing firmware for it, they're manufacturing their own flash or RAM, but they missed that one key component. And then Intel is using Sandforce controllers. So just totally, totally using, I mean, their own firmware for it, but totally using someone else's stuff, whereas Samsung doesn't do that. It uses toggle DDR2, NAND flash memory. This is TLC memory, more on that in a moment. DDR2, SD RAM, cache memory. AES 256-bit encryption is built into the drive. It comes with their Magician software, which is basically uh, SSD performance optimization, so manual trim, uh, benchmark testing, secure erase, and firmware updates, as well as their data migration software. The 840 also has a three-year warranty warranty compared to the five-year warranty on the 840 Pro. It is designed more for a consumer work cycle than like a prosumer or professional work cycle. So the 840 is the perfect drive for someone like your gamer friend or your mom or whoever else where it's more of a mainstream customer. It's less expensive, but they're not expecting that customer to be writing, you know, five, 10 gigs of data to the drive every single day because like all SSD drives, the 840 and the 840 Pro have a limited number of write cycles and TLC flash compared to MLC, so two bit per cell flash versus three bit per cell flash is inherently less durable. So it's not going to last as long. So if it's someone who's using their SSD as you know, a scratch disk or something for working on very large video or photo files, then that's gonna be a bit of a problem for something like a non pro level drive, hence the branding. 840 refers to the generation of products, so you've got the 840 and the 840 Pro for more like a pro user or someone who's more of a heavy user. So let's have a look at what else is included with the 840. We've got a thing that has a thing inside. There's your manual and software. Download the latest from the Samsung website if you sort of care about that sort of thing. Ooh, stickers. Samsung SSD activated. Those are kind of neat stickers. I like stickers. Warranty statement summary for the 840 and the 840 Pro. There's a bracket. So that's a two and a half inch to three and a half inch bracket. It's made of aluminum, so it's gonna be lightweight. If you're installing it in a desktop, they've also got all the screws that you might need in order to go ahead and do that there installation. A SATA cable is included. No way! Oh, this is awesome. These are handy. This is one of those USB to, ah, here we go. USB to SATA adapters. So instead of having, see, this, this is the kind of thing I like. Uh, Kingston had a kit. They had um, a desktop upgrade, a notebook upgrade kit 
where they included an actual two and a half inch drive enclosure with the thing. It was inside the SSD box. I was like, really? A whole two and a half inch drive? That's not very convenient. Because you actually have to take the thing, put it in the thing, screw it into the thing, close it up, and then you plug that into like the wall and then plug that into the thing. I was like, what, really? These are awesome though. This is uh, kind of like Seagate's uh, GoFlex um, GoFlex external ex uh, external drives, right? Where the whole thing is data and power all through USB, and then it plugs into the back of the SSD just like this. So there's your SATA 3 interface. There's your SATA interface on the back there. You just go like that. You can run the drive backup or drive migration tool that is provided by Samsung, and then you do your swap. So you actually leave the drive in the notebook, you plug in this one, you run everything, then you swap them, and you're good to go. So I think that pretty much covers it. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.